Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to take on aortic stenosis. Guys, this will be a quick recap or a quick insight into the aortic stenosis. So, starting with the definition, first of all, aortic stenosis is a kind of valvular disorder in which there is a narrowing or the reduction in the orifice of the aortic valve, and we say that the valve has become stenosed. Guys, please recall that aortic valve is the valve which got the opening of the aorta from the left ventricle, and it consists of three cusps. Now let us discuss the causes of aortic stenosis. See, how I remember this is that there may be two scenarios. One is the old age, while the other is the young adults. In case of old age, the aortic stenosis is mainly due to calcification. See, calcification is a age-related phenomenon in which there is the deposition of calcium over the valve, which leads to the fibrosis and eventually the thickening and stenosis of the valve. In case of young adults, the aortic stenosis is mainly due to congenital causes. For example, there may be congenital stenosis of the aortic valve or it may be due to chronic rheumatic fever. Whenever there is a chronic rheumatic fever or there are repeated attacks of the rheumatic fever, the valve becomes stenosed. So, if you happen to encounter a young adult with the aortic stenosis, then taking the previous history of rheumatic fever is a must. Now, let's discuss the pathophysiology of aortic stenosis. The actual pathology is due to the reduction in the orifice of the aortic valve which leads to the compromise of the left ventricular outflow. As a result of that, there is a hypertrophy of the left ventricle. So, very very important, in case of aortic stenosis, we are going to get the left ventricular hypertrophy. Clinical findings. Guys, clinical finding part is the most important part and it is the most tested part on the board exam. First of all, in the clinical findings, we have the murmur. Guys, to recall that murmur are the abnormal heart zones which are found whenever there is a pathology of the valve. And these murmurs, they are of two types, systolic murmurs and diastolic murmurs. Systolic murmurs are those which are found in the systole and diastolic murmurs are those which are found in the diastole. Since the aortic valve opens in the systole and as a result of aortic stenosis, we are going to get the problem in the opening of the aortic well, so the murmur of aortic stenosis is a systolic kind of murmur and it is a harsh ejection type of murmur which is found in the aortic area. Please recall that aortic area is situated in the right second intercostal space. Guys, there is also production of left sided S4 heart sound. See, S4 heart sound is an abnormal sound which is heard when the atria contract against the non-compliant left ventricle and in this case the left ventricle is hypertrophied as a result of which it becomes non-compliant so there is a production of S4 heart zone. There is any point to be remembered in context of the murmur and the S4 heart zone which is that these sounds increase whenever there is an increase in preload and vice versa. So whenever we do the maneuvers which increase the preload then we are going to get an increased S4 heart sound and increased intensity of murmur. This point is very much tested in the board exams. There is angina with exercise. What happens is that there is a decreased filling of the coronary arteries during the diastole. Since there is a decreased amount of blood pumped from the heart during the systole. This leads to subendocardial ischemia. There is also a syncope with exercise. Again, it is due to the decreased flow of the blood from the stenosed aortic valve. Guys, there is microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. See, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia is a type of anemia actually, and I will be covering microangiopathic hemolytic anemia in my future anemia videos. But to make you clear of microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, it is a type of anemia which arises whenever there is a pathology of the blood vessels. And in this case, what happens there is that the RBCs, as they get or pass through the small blood vessel, they get sheared and these sheared RBCs are called as schistocytes and these schistocytes eventually get damaged or destroyed in the spleen. So we are going to get anemia with the production of schistocytes and in case of aortic stenosis, this is a very important finding that is we are going to get microangiopathic hemolytic anemia with schistocytes. Last part of the video consists of the diagnosis and the treatment. See, diagnosis is made by echocardiography while the treatment is actually valve replacement. So whenever you encounter the anemia with the production of schistocytes, then it is an indication for the valve replacement.